So many butts. All the butts. vlogging today because I have nothing better to do <laughs> so yeah um excuse my loud footsteps but anyway so oh I am starving um I spent the entire morning cleaning my room so I'm tired and I'm hungry and I want some quiche so, yeah. I feel like God, I sound like such a basic white girl saying that. Like, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so tired. I want some quiche. Like, someone please feed me some quiche. Uh, anyway. Um, what's up? Let's see. What am I doing today? I am just going to have a chill day. I hope you guys enjoyed that little outfit of the day thing that I put in the beginning. The beginning. Beginning. Beginning of this video. Um, this has kind of become my uniform now. I'm just feeling too uncreative to come up with new outfits. Ugh, yeah. Plus I'm broke too. Well, I'm not broke, but I just don't feel like spending any money. So this is my outfit for the rest of the year. For 2017, I'm gonna wear this. Even if it's 102 degrees outside, I'm still gonna wear this outfit. So today, you guys are coming along with me on just my chill day out because I'm gonna go to the coffee shop and um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the coffee shop, get me some chai tea latte with almond milk. Again, I sound like such a basic white girl, like oh, my quiche and my chai tea latte. Oh, heavens. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's see. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some coffee, get some reading done for my book club, and then I'm gonna go to the library and get Ooh, is this lighting good? I feel like this lighting is really good. <gasps> mm. Am I a Victoria's Secret model yet? What was I saying? See, I get in front of the camera here and I just lose my mind. I ugh. See, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I get super awkward in front of my sit-down videos because I just am an awkward human being and I do not know how to act normal. Yeah. Dun da da da, quiche is cut. So, yeah. You know, I think I like vlogging better than I do like making sit down videos or like fashion videos because I just can be myself in these kind of videos. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep vlogging. So, I'm going to the library to work on a short story. And you know what? I think I might start a blog. I mean, I already started a blog, but I think I might like. Start posting on it regularly. Because I like to write. And I feel like if I have a platform to get feedback on, I'll write even more. And who knows, maybe you guys will actually enjoy my writing. We shall see. But yeah. Oh my god, speaking of the library, I was at the library a couple weeks ago. And I look up and this guy in front of me, his computer screen is just filled with like women's butts just so many butts all the butts and i'm like good sir good. What, what are you doing good sir so i watched him because i was just like okay maybe he's just like maybe he just stumbled upon someone's instagram account and was like just peering through and then maybe he's just gonna go about on his business and like no this guy goes into google and he's like typing in like hot biker babes and he's looking at these like youtube videos of girls in like bikinis who are just like wet and on bikes and like this guy may as well have just been like practically jerking off in the middle of a library like okay he wasn't jerking off but like he was clearly like getting some sort of like satisfaction from looking at all of these like all of these images and videos and i'm like okay listen if you want to do that kind of stuff, who cares? But like, don't do it in front of children because there were like 10 children in that library that day and they were like right behind him and just studying and I'm like, good sir, a good sir, please go home, go buy some Wi-Fi. It's not that expensive. 
then just go do that in the privacy of your own home. Like if you want to shoot up heroin, if you want to look at porn, like if you want to do all that stuff, fine. Just don't do it in front of me or in front of children. So yeah. So turns out the iPad was only on like 16%. So I went upstairs to go and grab this little portable charger here. And I hope this portable charger is charged because if it's not, then <laughs> oh well. I mean, I can always charge it at the coffee shop too. But the thing with coffee shops, so I do not like working in coffee shops. I've noticed <laughs> that the coffee shops here in Cincinnati are much better than the ones in DC. I will give them that, but they're still super crowded. And, and like you can never find a seat by a wall that has an outlet. And it's like, oh my God, oh, come on now people. Like honestly, there should just be a rule. Like if you're not charging something, do not sit by the wall. Like if you are charging something, sit. But if you are not gonna be charging something, just sit by the window or something. Do not sit by an outlet. It's just common courtesy, people. Oh my God. Speaking of DC coffee shops, I ugh, I have just had the worst stories about people in coffee shops. I don't know why, but I just seem to attract delinquents. I have been yelled at by homeless people in DC coffee shops. Oh my God. So. I was at a Starbucks once, and I was just sitting there before my ballet lessons, um, just chilling, doing my thing, and this guy comes up to me, and I shit you not, I should not curse, I shouldn't curse. So let me start over here. This guy comes up to me, and he's just like, he just sticks his charger into my laptop, and I'm like, hello sir, can I help you? And he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and use your laptop to charge my phone. And I'm like, that's not okay, no. And this guy had like, he was so creepy. He had like tattoos all over his body, like all over his neck, all over his arms. He had like a couple on his face. Like, you know not to mess with someone who has tattoos on their face. Not because they're like tough or anything, but because they're stupid enough to want to seem tough by getting a tattoo on their face. Like just... If you have a tattoo on your face, and no judgment, just, I have nothing against tattoos, but if you're gonna get a tattoo on your face of all places, I think you need to rethink your life choices. That's just my opinion. So yeah, this guy like plugs in his charger, and I'm like, no sir, this isn't gonna work. So he unplugs it, and... He just like sits there, he, c he continues sitting there and he's just like talking to me and I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't, like I, I don't go to coffee shops to socialize, okay? I go to coffee shops to just sit down and relax and have time to myself. This guy's like talking to me and he's like mumbling and his words are slurring and honestly, I think he was on drugs. Um, and I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying, but I'm just gonna smile and nod so that you don't murder me when I walk out of this coffee shop. Cause he could be like a serial killer or something. I don't know. Well, he didn't look like he was smart enough to be a serial killer though. So, um, yeah. And, okay, this iPod is not fitting into my bag. Oh, <sighs> anyway, um, yeah. So this guy's like talking to me and then like he pulls out his cell phone and he's like showing me photos of like random stuff. And he had like this flip phone from like 2006. And I'm like, I mean, okay, there's nothing wrong with having a flip phone if you're like 80, but this guy was like 20 and he had a flip phone and tattoos on his face. And I'm like, um, I don't know if I want to associate with you. And like he's showing me stuff and he's like talking to me like we're old friends, like we're good friends. And I, whatever, I'm just like, okay, whatever, if you're just gonna sit here, fine. Uh, so yeah. eventually, he left and the woman sitting next to me looked at me and she's like, did you know that guy? And I'm like, no. And then, and then after this guy leaves, he comes back, he sits back in front of me and starts explaining to me like, just what happened to him in like the two minutes that he had walked away from my table. And I'm like, I don't care. I don't. Please go away. Please leave me alone. And so yeah. There we go. We're off to see the wizard. Okay, 
had lunch and my mother called and ugh, my mother is so funny. She said that she watched the inauguration yesterday. She said that she sat down and she watched the entire inauguration without even getting up to use the bathroom. She said that she had like all of her food for the entire day, just like spread it out on the coffee table. She said she didn't get up at all. And I'm like mother. <laughs> okay, I'm so tired. I've been painting for forever. Uh, like this is what it is. That's the painting over there. And uh, yeah, you can't really tell what it is right now. Like most of my paintings. They just start out super obscure and they kind of look like a crappy abstract painting, but just give it time. Give it a couple months. Usually my oil paintings take about like, I don't know. They usually take about three to four months for me to make, so. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. Um, yeah, and it's a Saturday, so I'm just going to treat myself to a face mask and clean this kitchen up and play some Sims. <sighs> yes, Sims. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to come back next week because I make videos every week. So, yeah, see you next time. <laughs>